Welcome back to our class on number line. Last week you learned about adding on the number line. This week we'll be subtracting on the number line. Now here is the minus sign and the minus sign tells us to subtract. All right, or to take away. Now the same rule applies. Let's look for the first number. The first number is 8. So we start at our 0 and take one big jump to the numeral 8. And we place our arrowhead here. Now this week it's a little bit different because we are now using the minus sign. So we are not going forwards. We are going backwards. So we are hopping backwards now. So go back to your 8, but we go under the 8. And we hop backwards. How many times? Three times. So let's go. 1, 2, 3. And this is where we stop at the numeral 5. So 8 take away 3 equals 5. Let's look at others. 7 minus 2 equal. Now, remember, look at your first number. The first number is 7. Take one big jump to 7 and place your arrowhead. Good. Look at the sign. It says minus. Minus tells us to take away or subtract. We go backwards to subtract. So it says minus 2. Go under the 7 that you stopped. Put your pencil there. Let's go count backwards now. Hop in time. 1, 2. Because it says minus 2. And you place your arrowhead there. And your answer is 5. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Let's read this one. 4 minus 1 equals. All right. So we all know the rule. Look at, look at your first number. It's 4. From your 0, take a big jump to 4. Place your arrowhead. Minus sign says we are to subtract or take away. So we go under the 4 and hop backwards only one time. And we stop at the numeral 3. Now, here are some other examples. They are already done for you in terms of the hopping and the jumping. Now, to fill in our empty boxes, we look at the first numeral that we took the big jump to. So we jumped from the zero and we stopped at the five. So five goes in the first box. We know it's a minus because we are going backwards. Let's count how many times we went backwards. One, two. So it means that we are taking away two. And where did we stop on the number line? Three. So we can write five minus two equals three. Let's take a look at this one. Where did we take the first big jump? To the numeral 8. Put our 8 in the first box. We know it's minus because we see we are going backwards. How many times did we jump backwards? 1. 8 minus 1 equals 7. Let's look again. Where did we take our first big jump? Straight to the numeral 10. Minus, let's count how many times we jumped or we hopped backwards. One, two, three, four. 
and we stopped at the numeral six. So remember, boys and girls, when you're doing subtracting on the number line, look at your first numeral, jump to the first numeral, look at the sign which says minus, so you know you're going backwards. Look at the numeral here. Numer For example, this one is in numeral three, so you go under the eight and hop backwards three times. 